back in the right timing if we do that there, right? And a big thanks to the channel sponsor, DistroKid. DistroKid is a music distribution service and the best way to get your music out to all of the modern streaming services fast, efficiently, and within an independent artist's budget. Check out the description below for a discount today. What's up guys, it's Unders, and in this video, I just wanna show you a couple of ways we can copy and move automation, a couple of different ways to do it in Logic, uh, and some are more useful than others in certain scenarios. So let's start off with the first one i've got some panning automation on this little uh, vocal bit here however i've decided i wanted to change the timing of the vocal so that it actually lands uh, right on here so it's landing right in that point so at the moment it just goes i won't but i just want to have that so it's sort of bang on the time and it just sits a little bit better um, so we're just going to drag the audio, but by default on my settings, at least automation doesn't move with it or doesn't copy with it. Um, cause I find it crazy frustrating when you move stuff around and it's constantly moving this automation. Um, but now the automation that I had is going to be slightly out of time. Look, the, the first phrase, for example, is going to move too early and things. So what we need to do is tap T and we can then tap U and U is the automation select tool. And I can just select all of that chunk of automation like so. And I can just move the whole lot now. Just slide it along. And it's going to be back in the right timing if we do that there, right? Happy days. So now, quite comfortably go. I won't. Happy days. The other useful thing about the automation select tool is if I've selected a, a piece like that, I can actually copy it over to another section. So if I wanted to copy, say, this little bit here, you can see it copies from here onwards, right? And this is on the panning. So I could put this panning over to, say, the sample up here at the same point. So make sure we just hit Command and C. That's going to copy it for us. If we now select this track up here with the vinyl sample on it, and I just hit Command V, boom. It's going to change this over to panning and it drops that same bit in, but only the three points we had selected and everything ongoing from there. Super useful way of doing it. So now this would be in the same automation system as a woman the sample a man. here. You just go for something white. I won't. If I so wanted that to happen. So that's just a really simple way of copying things over. Now, another way we can do it is to do it by region as well. So if I select this region here, we're just gonna double tap T to go back to our normal tool. We can see this region is now selected in white. Well, it's got the white header, whatever you wanna call it. I can just right click it, okay? And in here, I've got automation options. <laughs> Track one automation, point region, borders, and all these fancy things, right? What I can do though is move current region data to track or move current track data to region, all right? Now, if I wanted to have this pan automation be built into this region, this is how I would do it. And that way I can always copy it over. It's always gonna have the, the same, same automation built in, even if I put it on another channel. So what we do here, we'd right click, we go to that automation channel and we could move current track data to region. And that's now gonna, embed that automation data just into that region and wherever i stick it always going to have that piece of automation in there with it rather than copying the automation having to move it away separately once i've got it as is i can just embed it to that part and keep it like that just a really easy way to do it if you've done that i want to undo it you can actually just very simply go move current region data to track and it will move that region automation back into track automation like we see here now we've been saying current we can also do move all so if we've automated multiple things all at once we can get rid of those and embed them all in that way as well and another useful one is delete all region automation so we could actually have everything that's embedded and just delete it clearing automation is something we often want to do notice clearing automation isn't actually in here what we do for that is we can select over here we have to right click on our track because this is track automation not region automation so now we would do delete visible automation or delete or automation. So I hope that's been helpful for you guys and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If this tip was helpful for you and you've learned a little something, please bash a like on the video. It does help the channel out massively and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.